Okay, got the gauges out of my Dodge truck. Going to put uh, LED bulbs in, replace all the all the factory little twisty ones in. You know the T10 type. I'm going to eliminate all those, replace with the LED. I'm going to use uh, UV black light. LEDs uh, for the, the cluster lights. Right there's one, one under here, one back there, same here, there, there. Had to take all these little blue little domes out of there uh, that they had clipped in there. Take the nose out because that'll just affect the LED UV lights. I'm going to replace all these with white. Uh, because one's blinker here, uh, sing, I don't know, some kind of check engine light, same blinker, check engine light, oil pressure, whatever lights. But uh, gonna change those out to little white ones, all these to purple. So I'm gonna put the cover on. I just took it off to clean it up really good. And I'll put it back on, I'll flip it over and show you what I did on the other side. Had to go through and determine what was positive and negative on these uh, cluster lights. It's a positive side, negative side. They go to this post. It's negative. This side is positive. I had to trace it all out. I got negative, positive. You have to do that when you put LEDs. I got a whole kit full of LEDs here. Uh, you got a. Here's my UV 10 millimeter. I got for some, and you gotta add resistors to the positive side of your LEDs because 12 volts too much. You gotta reduce it down to like four and a half. And I got this with some of my LEDs. There's like a hundred of them in there. I got on eBay, but I got like there's a, some amber ones. I was gonna use for my clearance lights. I got uh, the UV there. Some more UV. Some blue, we got all different colors. White, here's some yellow ones that you just plug in. So, like, uh, I'm using them on my clearance lights instead, that's easier. Plus, my marker lights. I've got some little white ones that I uh, will use, like on license plate lights and stuff like that. But, uh, anyways, we're getting ready to put these UV lights. I'm gonna use uh, UV. Uh, in there on my cluster lights. I'm going to take this piece of 600 here, sand, sand a little bit, and solder, solder there, solder there, solder the ground solid, and then solder the uh, resistor to the positive side, and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, here's LEDs. Notice I've got one here that's real shiny clear. Another one that I took to this scotch bright pad uh, what we call diffusing if you don't diffuse it all the light will just shine out the front this way when you diffuse them it makes the light uh, flare out a lot better and notice one of the tail the wires sticking out of the back of the LED one's longer than the other the longer ones always are positive the short ones are uh, negative your ground uh, it's very important that you uh, put it on see how I soldered my this is the ground side this is the positive side and you have to put that resistor on the positive side uh, right there I, I labeled them so I know I'm getting ready to do this one I labeled them uh, so I know which one's positive and negative after I get all done I'll take a piece of black uh, plumber's tape or something and put over top of all that and protect them. What I did is I take and bend the ground down first so it's almost flat with the bulb. That way when I stick it in here, up here, I can just uh, solder it to the, the ground side of the terminal and then I'll uh, just wrap the LED, I mean the resistor around the positive and then trim the top off with my little 
uh, little pliers here. So it's a little more flush. Uh, you can see it sticks up just a little bit, but not much higher than all those black things that stick up out of there. What I did is I just made a little loop in my resistor, kind of like a little hook, grab that, and then I just come over here and hook it on, hook it on the wire there, the positive wire, go in this direction this time. I just hooked, hooked the wire, I can't do it with the foam, but I did it, and then I'll just solder it to the, I'll move it around to where I can solder it to my uh, contact point there. Okay, did all the idiot lights with LED white lights. Uh, I'll just touch one here, give you a, a demo. You should have done that already. Should have had it plugged in, but uh, we'll just start right here and we'll touch one right here. There you can see it lighting up. That is your seatbelt light. Uh, the other blinker and check engine, whatever, but uh, these are all white. I put blue these in, uh, LED. They're almost like a regular T10 bulb, but I uh, just clipped them in there. In uh, cluster lights, it's already blue. And I added one here, I drilled a hole and put one up at the top of the speedo but I just used a big old fat LED that I have somewhere around here. But uh, getting ready to put a couple more down here, blue fat ones, just to help light up the odometer and everything else down there at the bottom. Gonna put tape over all this. I had to put tape underneath the resistors here to keep them from touching something else so it don't short something out. But uh, anyway, it's going to tape over all of this now. It's some good black tape.